All right, hello and welcome to a Project Port Sol MC Map Gaming Building Vlog video. Today we are going to be, um, well, we're going to be trying to put in another village. So I realize that there isn't a, actually a village on the island. Like an actual generated village. So I decided, and since there is some space that I want to fill with, uh, or attempt to fill with villages, uh, I don't know. I am trying to attempt to uh, attempt to fill an area with villages, and I'll show that in a second. The area. Um, over here, it's by the villager. It's awfully close to the villager, uh, to the iron farm, and let's actually go take a look at that real quick and see how much iron there is in it. Not half bad. And yes, all that iron is included in with the map. There's more on the main island, actually. Uh, that's one of the earlier structures. You may be wondering... Anyways, let's move away from that and go to clearing this area. Now, you may be wondering, well, there's all these trees, there's all, there's all this foliage, and yes, I will have to be clearing all of this out manually. But in areas like this, uh, well, I'll be right back, and by then I'll have cleared all this out. So, All right, so I've gotten a bit done. Um, I've cleared out this area here. I'm going to do a quick backup of the world just so in case I screw up the generation command and have to roll back. So let's uh let's do that. I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type the command slash place and then I'm going to place a village. Um, I have to pick a biome that the village is. So there's there's four diff there's a couple different types of villages. I can use there's the taiga, which is the snowy biome. There's the um, Well, let's actually see what the selection is here. I have a couple villages to choose from. Okay, so we've got Village Taiga, Village Snowy, Village... Okay, Village Plains, Desert. We don't have a Swamp Village, but technically there is Swamp Villagers. We don't have Jungle Village yet, so in the, but there are Jungle Villagers. All right, let's... Uh, And this is what I was afraid of. Maybe don't generate this way. Okay. Let's, uh...
hold on one minute while I figure this out. This is annoying. All right, let's go down the tier list. Uh, we're going to load this in, and we are going to try again. You know what? Let's do template. Let's toy around with the templates feature, actually. Um, because I can generate the structures that way, tweak them entirely where I want them to be, and then I can do that. But you know what? Screw it. It's, it's just easier to use the, the, the structure. And it broke again. Lovely. Okay, so that just means we have to uh, build the structures ourselves, I guess. Well, this isn't my... Well, that didn't work. Let's go to the last one and try building the structures ourselves. Okay, so we're going to have to go through and block every villager. Block where each village has to like, plot out everything. Alternatively, I could make some more pillag pillager watchtower villages, but that just seems like cheating, almost. You know what? Let's go with that. Well, actually, before we do something like that, let's make a backup again. Yeah, every time I add something to that, the list is just going to get longer. This is becoming an absolute meme, but uh, yeah, let's let's take every precaution so we don't screw it up. Oh, there's a piece of wood there. Okay. Um, let's...
I mean, if you understood the generate command and how to use it, I guess you could assemble your own structures. But honestly, I don't even know how to do that. So uh, that seems like a complex command block sequence, too. Okay, so it's just not a structure, it's just a it's just a template. Huh. That's odd. Well, at least I'm giving you an idea on what my thought processes are right here, right now. Uh, No, that's not quite where I wanted it to generate. I don't know why it puts it at there. Um, hold on, once I've gotten it set up the way I want it, uh, I'll get back. All right, so I got one to generate it. Well, it's not the best. It's kind of sunken into the ground. It was two blocks, one block deeper than I wanted it to be. But I think we can work with that, given that we can just clear out this elevation of land. You may be wondering, why do I use pillager outposts now? Well, these are supposed to be fortifications. And I think I want my, my thought processes. And you're wondering, why aren't pillagers spawning in? Well, by using the template system that's already existing in the game, I can take a structure, for instance, a pillager outpost, Spawn it along with its structure block, and it inherently has none of the properties that you would use if you used, if you used actually use the uh, structure can place the structure command. Um, but if you use the structure command to place it, uh, you would end up getting the pillagers as well. Now I have to completely overhaul this. Um,
I want to kill as many Enderman spawns as I can, so... We're going to somehow incorporate this big ugly iron farm into this. And you know what? This is going to be a challenge because uh, TLDR, I don't exactly know how this is going to turn out. Um, so, yeah. This certainly gives a lot of room for us to work with here. Uh, we're gonna have to have this at a different angle. And there's a reason for that. These are, in fact, decently wide houses, I guess. Um... Basically, what this island is is a sort of a military base of sorts. I don't know. I don't quite know. Uh, hold on. What time? Is, how much time do we have left? Oh, it's uh. You know what? I'm gonna have this run a little bit longer than usual. So uh, yeah.
All right, you know what, folks? I'm going to end it here. This was a, this is the start of a very interesting project. I'm going to finish this up. Um, and yeah, uh, this should be... This is just a test. This is very much a test to see if this was done. This might. This is not going to be made into the main game. I just want to see what it would look like uh, fully fleshed out. Unfortunately, if this idea does make it into the main game, this is just this is more of a concept because I know it won't make it into the main game here because it's specifically because it's right next to an iron farm um, and villages and iron farms have to be a certain distance apart or else uh, the the iron golems would start spawning in massive numbers here, which isn't such a bad thing, but it's better they spawn in the iron farm than in the uh, village. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a little behind the scenes. Um, so I'm preparing for the next video, but I, you know what? I might decide to make this as next video. Uh, well, what I'm working on here is a concept for... Uh, as you know, many of the concepts I've worked on before have made into the game. This one, however, will not make it into the uh, map. Primarily for the reason that it is way too close to the iron farm. And I'm not so comfortable, I'm not so enthusiastic about moving this. That's been there forever. It's the norm. I don't want to change it like that. Right now, I'm in a copy of the test world, just testing out some things, as, you, as you'd expect from the name, test world. So, a majority of this will, will be cut from the main game. I mean, from the main... Uh, there's a high likelihood that this, this all this build is going to be cut from the main game. What will not be cut, however, is anything before this. So anything that was here before will be cut. The forest that was once here will be back there, and it should be good. Now, as you can see, I'm building the classic villager huts. Now, you may be wondering, why is he making villager huts around what looks like a pillager outpost? That's not going to be a pillager outpost. That's going to be another villager fortifi fortified villager outpost. I just want to see what this looks like um, fully built up, and that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I cut the video off last time. Uh... of me building this, so I am basically building this right now. These houses are super easy to make, actually, these little villager houses. Uh, that's partially why they are. They're meant to look... They're, they look great, but they're also meant to be easy to construct from basic, simple materials. Which probably makes them great survival houses, which is, I'm pretty sure they would be. Given their shape and their overall design. It's minimalist, I granted. But it's... Uh, grant you that it's minimalist, but... I like the overgrown watchtower better than the, this main one, honestly. It just looks a little bit, bit better to my eyes.
Uh, I'll get into why I'm doing things the way I am in sections because I'm doing multiple of these builds at once uh, to get them done a little bit faster than doing each individual one. I like to bevel the edge a little, so that's what I've done here. A, a sort of weird bit bevel. So yeah, these have slants. These technically would have slanted roofs. Well, not slanted. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know. They're beveled, cathedral style, I guess. I don't. I. I, I honestly do not know. These won't have finished interiors. This is just a test bench to see what I'm doing, would actually be doing here. Uh... I haven't put any of the doors or windows in. That's going to be done last, and that's going to be done uh, all at once in a sequence. So yes, you can practically mass produce these. These these builds were meant to be mass produced, and that is exactly what I'm doing here. It's a very efficient build. These are also very easy to repair if damaged. So all you need are stair basic starting stairs and slabs. Optionally, you may want to, or at least in these, I'm going to include these roofs. Maybe wondering if I forgot one. Yes, but that is just a uh, that this is remember this is a test plot. This isn't um, that's just marking out where things would be.
That just feels a lot more natural, actually. And then there's this. Why Mojang? Mojang kind of just got lazy right there. I think that's either an error in coding or just laziness. I don't know why there aren't pillager settlements as well. I, there's just pillager outposts, but why not pillager settlements? I mean, it would kind of make sense. Sorry, my mic was far away from my face. It would kind of make sense for there to be pillager out to be pillager settlements, not just outposts. There we go. A more neatly set up and why, mo oh yeah, Mossy Cowboy because I had that in there, okay. Now I'll be doing an actual tutorial video on, on these little villager houses and the fact that I think that they're very neat, they're very modular, which is nice. This is most important. They're very modular, and I think... That would fit in with a lot of medieval style of building. If you're going for a modern medieval style of build... No, I haven't forgotten about the slabs. I'm just doing it, the building a little bit differently this time. 
the variation just aiming to you can i'm just trying to prove a point that you can do it in different steps in different orders and still achieve the same result in fact the version 1.0 didn't even have this little raised bit here so you don't even need to have these extra slabs this is just like for added thickness and depth Anyways, with those out of the way, with that little building spree out of done and out of the way, let's uh And there's about it. We just have the one little detail I again left out. Here in this chest is going to be all the block types you will need for this build. Uh, you will also need some buttons. I'm going with polished blackstone. You can use just stone. Normally I'd make these in threes, but I was in a hurry, so I didn't. I can obviously expand these and extend these as long as you want. Actually, let's leave off the buttons this time. They're more of a decorative piece anyways. And yeah, you know what? I think this is a good video place to end the video here. This is just a random building village video of me uh, working on the map and testing some things out. I may end up elaborating on this. I don't know. I don't. Actually, I don't know now I think about it.
I don't exactly know if uh... Oh cool, it was a zombie raid going on. This is a very rare event actually. Anyways, folks, if you enjoyed the content so far and you want me to make more videos, uh, if you want me to actually include this in the next update, I don't think it'll carry from... Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to blend this in with the uh, next update, just because... I mean, I could blend this in with the, with the actual update, I'm going to leave this ugly iron farm in the map forever. That's a key feature that's going to be kept in. Um, anyways, folks, if you've enjoyed the content so far, then please consider hitting the like, but hitting that subscribe button. If you want to, if you want to uh, ensure that my video gets recommended to more viewers, then please consider hitting that like button. And if you want me to make more content on this, on the subject of me building and tutorials and whatnot, then uh, please do consider comment commenting down below. Anyways, I'm Zyphros. Thank you for watching my video.